Hey everyone, Sim Farmer here and welcome back to Carmsden Farm for episode 4 in this Let's Play series. So we're now into November and we are just on our way up to field 23 to do the soybean harvesting contract that we've took on. We're going to use our own combine for the contract uh, just so we don't have the uh, reduction for borrowing the equipment and also the equipment that was on offer I don't think we would have actually got into the field. It was a case combined with uh, dual wheels on and being a borrowed equipment I'm pretty sure you can't change the configuration of it. So yeah we would have probably struggled to get it down some of the roads let alone get it into the actual field itself. So I've bought over the, the fence with the header on the trailer so that's all over here ready. So we'll get this connected up and then we can start on the harvest. So it's quite a big field and it's going to take quite a while. Um, but as it is soybeans, they in FS22 they seem to be extremely low yielding crop. And so I doubt we would have got that case. <laughs> to be honest I don't even know if you'd get the case with single wheels through this gate. It is very tight. So if we just back up a little bit, jump out, go and just pull the fence out of the way. So I'll just park this up at the side of the field, a little bit of space here. That's going to be out of the way. We will have to go and grab the Massey with the grain trailer at some point. That's probably going to take a while just to get one full load with our soybeans. Get the PTO connected, unfold the combine, turn our beacons off now. Right, I think I'm missing something else here. There we go. Those contracts, I mean it's still a fairly decent sized field but it's not worth a huge amount. So it's only worth around about 7,420 so hopefully we'll get a uh, decent amount of... Well, well, really, well I just noticed that's still in euros because I've been on a uh, hobe on just before this. Um, yeah it's it's not a huge amount, it's only 7,000 uh, 420 so hopefully we'll get a decent amount of excess to make it worth it and then what with the the other plan for today will be to start getting the first load of cows so after we finish this and we've sold all the crop uh, the excess crop and completed the contract we'll head to the store to lease an animal transport trailer and then we'll buy a few loads of cows we won't buy as many as we can with the money we've got we don't want to leave ourselves with no money at all so just to get us started we'll buy as many loads as we can leaving uh, a reasonable amount of money anyway and then I think that'll be pretty much everything we can do for this year in game year anyway so we'll probably come back in possibly February March and they'll look to get the other half of our field prepped for a crop so I think we'll probably put oats in so we can get some more straw as currently that's the only crop we'll be able to do now to harvest for next year we'll be able to actually get any straw from it and then we'll have a look what other jobs can be done so we will need to fertilize the canola so that needs another round of fertilizer and obviously when we do the field prep we need to plow lime and fertilize that as well as sow the oats so yeah pl plenty to do and by then as well we we'll, should start getting some milk production uh, slurry we will need to build 
a, um, a manure extension pit for the cow yard because it doesn't currently come with one so if we want to do get manure which I think will be worth uh, doing um, even if we don't actually use the manure ourselves although I'm not sure if there's a sell point because uh, I started in start from scratch I don't own the um, I don't own the surrounding land which covers this area here where the BJ is so currently I don't own the land but the BJ I think on new farmer mode you actually start with that you can access it anyway um, that's not available currently on this version um, I'm not sure if the updated version there are some items that won't uh, you'll need to uh, will require a new save game for them to be implemented and I don't know if the BJ being able to access that will be one of the uh, items so yeah we'll have to wait and see when the updates out if I can actually access the BJ we have to sell manure and slurry I'm pretty sure at the moment there is no sell point for manure and slurry so it shows up the biogas plant is buying but and slurry but there is no trigger there for me to actually sell so hopefully that will be fixed with the update Right, so we filled up the combine we did just under two full passes around the headlands to get to the seven and a half thousand litres <laughs> and not a huge amount so we're just heading up there now in the Massey with the grain trailer so we'll get that unloaded and then we can continue the harvest I think so far we've done around about four percent four or five percent <laughs> Not a huge amount on the percentage of the actual total. What we'll do, we'll just pull up next to the combine and we can get this unloaded. I'll say, yeah, just that tiny little bit to finish off two full passes around the headland. So currently we are. 13% oh, is a little bit more than I expected it to be. Uh, we need to take this to the farm store bay too, which is down by the dealership. Yeah. So if, just down by the actual local farm dealership where we need to deliver it. We'll get our lights back on. so then we can continue so just quickly check what the actual yield is on this uh, it's plus 75 percent yield which isn't too bad actually so we'll probably do one more pass around the headland uh, that'll open up the field and then we can concentrate on the main body of it Uh, towards the end of the last video I did mention about doing time-lapse sections in the videos um, well I did mention at the end of the video about what I'd mentioned earlier in the video which that bit actually got cut out of the video so, um, uh, yeah, one of the things I was saying about the time-lapse sections is the how much they actually add onto the rendering time which is kind of a thing of whether I can actually afford to take that extra time um, currently a 45 minute let's play video at normal speed takes around about one hour to render whereas a 15 minute time lapse video takes around about three hours to render so you can see like even though it's like half an hour shorter video the time lapses take a lot lot longer to to render so uh, a 45 minute let's play with only five minute time lapse sections in it I would possibly add an extra hour onto the rendering time which I'm at the moment 
because I'm doing all the time lapse videos as well for the other channel, I just don't think I can uh, have that extra time to render the video. So at the moment, I'm just going to keep time lapses out. Um, but so what I may do instead is just some uh, normal speed and just some like shots of the actual work being done like a kind of cinematic section more or less uh, have a go at doing something like that instead uh, possibly the other uh, problem I've got is currently I don't have a subscription to Epidemic Sound for this channel uh, my subscription only covers one channel so I would have to take out a separate subscription for this channel if I was to use any music uh, from them uh, which because I'm not going to be using a, a lot of music I don't know if it'll be worth that at the moment so yeah things to consider uh, but yeah I'll, I'll try a few different things and see how we go So we've cut the field into two, we're just working on the smaller section of the two We're coming up to 85% full on the combine, so this load should finish filling the trailer So what we'll do, we'll switch over the other side, we'll jump in the Massey and then follow the worker up the field unloading And we'll head over to the uh, delivery point to drop off the first load Kind of try and set a worker off going in that direction. Let's see if we can catch up with the uh, catch up with the combine before it gets to the top of the field and turns around. Yeah, so we're currently 38% complete. I think we need to get 80% of the harvest complete and then deliver whatever the requirement is for the actual crop. Uh, it would be nice in game if they actually showed you what, how much you needed to actually deliver for the contract. Because um, it's there in the XML files it shows you exactly the, the quantity required for the contracts. Uh, so why they can't just put that into the actual menu screen for the uh, contracts I don't know. Hopefully this should get us to 100% and I said we'll leave the worker doing this large section of the field while we are going to deliver the first load. Uh, kind of give us an idea then on how much more we're going to have to deliver to complete the contract. And I say hopefully we'll get a... I'm not, uh, not expecting excesses amounts of uh, leftover uh, but it would be nice if we got a, a a decent amount to get an extra few thousand on top of the actual contract itself uh, but I have done soybean contracts where I've had to literally deliver 99% of what was uh, harvested on the field for it to complete and then other times I've had uh, like 12, 13,000 litres left over so no idea how this one's going to go I'm going to say ho hopefully it'll be on the a good side of uh, what it could possibly be. So we'll head down to the farm store now and then we'll get this load delivered. Wait, look, I know there's no traffic on here, but. Always look, it would, it would be nice if there was the odd a, a car that occasionally came down here. I know it would be a nightmare at times uh, to try and pass it, but. It would would add a little little bit more life to the map. All right, so we're just coming up to the farm stores. I believe we go straight down here and keep to the left. That yeah, farm store just down here. I believe it's that cell point right there in front of us. Or is it no a bit further round? Yeah, it looks like it's a bit further round actually. So it looks like this one here. So yeah, we'll see how much percentage-wise this is for what we've got. So we're currently 
46% on the Harvey side. What is the actual price for uh, soybeans? So, yeah, over a thousand per thousand litres. So, now that's 51%. So, Possibly not quite one full load left to deliver. So we could potentially get a, uh, about seven, eight thousand litres excess, I reckon. Which with the current prices is going to be around about seven, seven thousand, seven hundred, eight thousand, eight hundred or so, um, on top of the actual contract itself, which isn't too bad. So yeah, we'll head back to the uh, field and continue with the harvest. Right, so we're on the last little bit of harvesting on field 23. Uh, now, <laughs> some people will say I should just bought this field as it's technically a free field, but yeah, at the moment, <laughs> With the equipment we've got, I didn't really want to take on another field this big. And also, I know technically it is a free field at the moment in this version that will be fixed in the update. Um, it still seems a little bit cheaty, <laughs> taking advantage of that um, personally. But yeah, I, I honestly, I don't think I'd really wanted to um, take on another field quite this big just yet. Maybe once we've got some slightly bigger equipment, um, it, I would have done, but for how long it's taken just to do this, although it's not been too bad, it's, it's still you know a decent sized field. Um, we've only got a small plow. Uh, again, along with all the other fields, this field requires plowing, uh, requires lime and then fertilised seeding, so it's a lot of extra work to do on top of what we've already got. And I just think it, for now it's just a one field too many, um, which is an unfortunate thing because I think this is pretty much one of the smallest arable fields on the map. Oh, it's field six and twenty-three, probably a different shape, but they're probably not far off each other size-wise. Um, but yeah, I think literally those two are the smallest arable fields on the map. So I think. Probably when we do look to expand the ar arable side, this will be the field we look to buy. Um, but yeah, for now, I, I don't really want to take advantage of that. This being free, I'd rather keep it as a, a NPC owned field that then we can possibly do some contract work on with it being one of the, of the other smaller arable field. It's going to be a lot more manageable to do for contract work as well. So our trailer, I believe, is almost full. But we should have enough space in the combine to get this finished off. And then what we'll do, we'll take the trailer load down and get that sold, which should complete the actual contract then. We are now at 92% complete. And uh, we can see how much excess we do when we take the final load of soybeans down. And then while we're down there, we'll leave our trailer down there and lease the animal transport trailer. And then we can get our first cows for the farm. And then the next job will be to get them some feed. So it'll just be hay bales for now until the silage is ready. The silage is currently well, last time I checked it was around about 33% fermented, so it seems like it's going to take three months to ferment, so it should be ready. Well, yeah, December it will be 66%. So, yeah, it should be ready for January, and then we'll look again at a feed mixer and start feeding the cows TMR. That way we can maximise their production and make the most of the cows. I don't know if we'll put the manure pit in yet. Um, I might just have to 
sacrifice not producing any manure for now. Um, just so I'd rather buy more cows than I think it's around about 25,000 for the manure extension. So I think with that, that could be an extra couple of loads of cows. Let's just have a look how much the actual. Yeah, 25,000 for that. That's the only one I've currently got available. Um, there is the Bavarian farm pack. There is a cheap of manure pit available in there. Um, I don't currently have that installed on this game save. I uh, don't know if I'd really want to install the whole uh, building mod pack just for the manure pit. So we'll definitely keep an eye on what contracts come up on this field. So there's a lot of contracts coming up, like some of 36,000 for that harvesting. They're just going to take far too long for me to do. Um, at the moment, it's I, I would like to get three episodes a week on Calms the Nose, but I'm probably more likely going to be able to only get two. At the moment, I've still got a lot of stuff I need to try and get done and sort out. So that is all the harvesting done. And we'll just park this down here, rather than drive it all out to the tractor. So we've got 2,592 litres in the actual combine itself, and then I, I, I think the trailer is literally probably 99% full. I'll just leave that running while we go and grab the tractor. We don't have to jump back out and jump back in to switch it on and <laughs> jump back out to uh, load it up and then back into the combine and switch it off. 93%. So 15,834 litres of this. So we'll top this up and then we'll go and take this down to the store. Uh, last, I don't even think there's going to be uh, probably. A few hundred litres left in the combine. I don't think that's worth driving all the way back up here to then drive all the way back down to the store with a few hundred litres of soybean. So if there is only that much, we'll leave that. We'll just take it back to the farm, put it in the silo until we get more to take it all together. We'll see how much it is, but it's yeah, I don't think it'll be worth. Oh, 1,400 litres, that's... Gonna be over a thousand pound, but... Yeah, I think we'll just keep that for now. So we can get the animal transport trailer. Yeah, so we'll head down to the farm stores, we'll... Deliver the last load and see how much excess we make. And then we'll... As we're down by the store anyway, we'll pick up the animal transport trail and then head down to the livestock market to buy our first dairy cows for on Carmsden. Okay, so back down to the farm stores. <laughs> I'm a bit worried now how much because I forgot the first load is only 51% and that was a full 17,000 litres so I'm hoping this is not going to be another 99% requirement for soybean contracts like I had before. So we'll soon find out. So currently 95% complete on the contract in total. So their contract finished was around about seven, eight thousand. So a bit more than that, ten thousand six hundred we've made on top of the actual contract itself, which we can now complete. So seven thousand four hundred twenty. So we'll collect that. That takes up oh, ten thousand 
takes us up to 62,591 which does mean we should be able to get a decent amount of cows I'm not sure how much the trailer we're gonna get is uh, the Joskin which is one of the modded ones that's available on the mod hub so it takes seven cows uh, which is one more than the the base game animal transport trailer and one more than the other Joskin trailer that's on the mod hub I if we'll be able to swing around here a bit tight just about we'll just leave our trailer down here for now and I'll come pick this up later and then we'll go lease the animal transport trailer yeah so we've only got three choices currently um, out of the mods I've got anyway I know there are some other ones on the mod hub so this one's by far the cheapest and also takes the most well you'd expect that one to actually take more as it seems like to be a big trailer it's a double axle uh, 7500 but and it takes six cows so yeah, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure how they've worked those out uh, the base game one's also a double axle trailer which looks a bit bigger than this as well but also only takes six um, so yeah we'll go with this one and we're just going to lease it so we'll keep it as standard so 765 to lease that and I can't remember how much the cows are and they're around about I don't know if the 1500, 1300 for a 18 month old. We'll go for the 18 month old cows because they obviously will start producing milk straight away. And also they'll start their reproduction cycle straight away as well. I'll still need to change that button config for the Xbox controller. I need to attach it first actually that would help and we can attach the cables all right so the animal transport uh, animal transport market animal dealer is down here so we need to go all the way back past our farm and then down to here Yeah, so what we'll do, we'll buy, we'll see how much the first seven are going to cost. And so I don't want to like spend all our money on getting cows because we still have loan interest payments we need to pay. Um, and if we are going to be skipping December and possibly, well, January and maybe February up to March, that's three months of loan payments we need to pay. So we need to make sure we can cover those and still have a little bit left over when we come back after uh, the little winter break okay so we're just coming up to the animal dealer so, so what we'll do we'll work out roughly how many loads we're going to get from the cost of the first load I think we need to leave at least a 10,000 I don't really want to go below 10,000 uh, we'll go for Holsteins and we'll go for the 18 month old so 7 of those will cost 10,850 so we're looking at probably 5 loads um, in total So another four loads maybe a little bit too much so yeah maybe four loads in total so that'll be trying to think how much was it i can't remember it was ten thousand eight hundred and so there's gonna be around about forty four thousand so i think yeah four loads in total i think will leave us a decent amount of money then and that will also give us 28 cows for us to uh, make a start on on the dairy side of things on the farm. So 
So we're going to get these back into, well, not back into the shed. We're going to get the, the first seven into the shed and then we'll top up their feed. Uh, we don't need to do the water as they're in the shed, so that's an auto automatic. And I don't know if the straw affects their production, even though we can't actually produce any manure. I don't know if, if uh, we still need to give them straw to get the production up. Um, so we'll probably give them a bale of straw. It looks like it's just about to start raining. Um, but yeah, I, d I don't know, because I've been giving the cow straw on Elm Creek, but there's no way of getting manure in the the cow barn I've got on there, so yeah, I don't know if that's actually making a difference or not. So, autumn showers. Oh, that road flooded fast. Literally, literally been raining two seconds. I wonder if you'll see the rainbow again. Looks quite blue over that side. I wonder if the rainbow's. Yeah, they would just about see the rainbow. It is a very, very stunning map, like, visually. <laughs> Ideally, it's not not a map I overly uh, prefer, just for the fact that it's got so many large fields on. Uh, so if I was doing this on my own, I'd probably, <laughs> probably just making the most out, uh, out of course play and lots of workers which for me then it you end up spending a lot of time jumping around between different vehicles checking on workers and stuff and it kind of takes away the uh, enjoyment of actually playing the game for me so I prefer more manageable fields that I could do the majority of my work myself um, but it is a very very nice looking map all right move to husbandry so there's our first seven cows, so we've got a total of 150 capacity in this uh, pasture. So that's a decent amount of cows. Uh, right. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> One downside is the fence is over still in the field 23. So we'll shut the gate quickly before any of the cows try and escape all right that's our first seven cows in the pasture new to you too all right yeah so I'll go and grab the fence so we can actually give them some hay so they can actually start producing Oh, it looks like we're going to get wet. Oh, so we've in the fence. We've just bought back the header, the combine. What we need to do we'll get that into the shed or under the shelter, and then get the front loader on, and then we can give the cows the first bale of hay. Well, what we'll do we'll. I won't fully fill up the actual feed trough. I'll just put one bale in and see how much that fills it up for now. And then I'll just keep adding it to keep it topped up because I don't want to max it out for when we come to do TMR and have lots of hay in there that's not going to get used. I'll just put this under here for now. Trying to remember where the actual front loader is. Pretty sure I'll put it in this shed just here. Nope. Yep.
My front loader on, and now I just need to find the bail, bail spike. Which I believe is in the shed. I'm sure I'll put it away on the shelf, yep. It always pays to be a bit organised so you know where things are. Although I, I often forget. I think it was on uh, No Man's Land earlier today. I was recording on No Man's Land. I know. There's a few moments where I was running around the yard trying to find what I was looking for because I couldn't remember where I'd put things. This is not the uh, ideal of sheds to manoeuvre a tractor in for this sort of thing. I'm not 100% sure where the actual feed trigger is, so we'll just go somewhere over here and see if it takes it. There we go, that's filling up. That's taken the whole bale, so... Yeah, that hasn't filled up the trough a huge amount. Now, we're not going to fill the pasture, so we're only going to have the 28 cows. We'll possibly give them one more bale and see how that goes. I'm not sure what the exact maximum capacity is of the feed trough itself. I do like the changes they've made with the feed trough, so where they, they have a maximum total capacity. Unlike 19 where it was kind of like unlimited um, and you could put in as much of each different type as you wanted. Kind of just based on how many cows you were, or animals you had in there. Uh, so yeah, 15,000 litres, so that's probably around about a quarter. Uh, which looks like it's probably around about a quarter of the total capacity as well. So we'll leave that at that. I'll just park this up in here. Leave that there. Uh, straw. Yeah, uh, we'll get the rest of the cows first. At least they've actually got some feed, so that we'll get them going. And then we'll look at possibly giving them giving them a bale of straw if we can. I don't know if we can just give them a bale, or whether we need an actual st straw blower. Uh, of that, I don't know. That's another thing we'll need to find out. I'm sure as many of you have already already know that from your own save games. Right, so I'll go and get the next few loads, and then we'll come back once we've just about to put the last seven cows into the, uh, the pasture. Right, so we're just coming up back up to the farm with the final load of cows. So this lot of load will take us up to 28. So we'll get these into the pasture and we'll have a look see if we can give them a bale of straw. I so say I'm not sure if that'll make any difference on the production or anything like that, but at least they'll have some just in case. And uh, we do have plenty of straw bales. Hopefully I won't have the same issue I just had the, the previous load. I could not quite pick up the uh, the actual trigger to drop the animals off. And then when I did, it kept saying the animal transport trailer was no longer available. Immediately, like I said that, I was like, even though I wasn't moving. Hopefully this time it actually works. Come on. Yeah, this is the problem I had last time. It just. There we go. <laughs> it must be like. You should find that right sweet spot just to pick it up. So we'll move these in. That's 28 out of 150 in total. And you can see the value of the first load have already increased quite a bit over £100 from the 
the last load you've just put in there. So we'll just move this out of the way so we can close that gate. I'll just drop this over here for now because we're going to be returning this now we've finished with it. We won't need this again for a while. So we will probably get more cows. Or it depends on how much feed we've currently got. Uh, when, when we come to actually start feeding them total mix ration, how many hay bales we've actually got left to keep these 28 going. Uh, but we will look to probably take them up to around about 50 and then we'll just let the reproduction build up the uh, the rest from there. So currently we've already got 38 litres of milk that have already started producing so when we come back in spring hopefully we may have enough to sell a load. We will possibly have to lease a milk tanker though. We're not going to be in a position to be able to afford to buy one. And the next thing I want to try and look at purchasing would be the feed mixer. I'll just take the one straw bale. And actually uh, <laughs> pick it up. As I say, no idea if this is going to actually make any difference, but if it does, then I'd rather it be in there just in case we just crash into the massy. Not, not the best place to have left it. So I, I believe the straw triggers in here as well somewhere, but again, don't know exactly where. Is that going down? Nope. Uh, it's, it's going to be a case trying to find exactly where the straw trigger is. Uh, that's if it actually takes the bale as well. I think the straw trigger is going to be improved on the update. Uh, the trouble is, it's that kind of thing where you bring up the interactive zone marks. I don't think it actually shows you. We'll try and put it on that icon, see if that's the same place as the feed is the straw. Nope. Well, the only thing we can do is bring up this to see if I can actually see where the trigger is. Well, there's two trigger boxes here, so maybe it doesn't take straw then uh, from bales. We've got quite a large one here, which I presume is the feed. And then this small one here, which possibly would be the straw. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't take the uh, straw directly from a bale. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that's uh, answered the question of whether we give them any straw or not. It may be a good thing in a way that we might not be wasting any straw if we wait until we've got the manure piece anyway. Um, although I, I don't know if necessarily you have to give them straw just to produce manure. I don't think it actually says. Uh, I think these help menus, I think I mentioned in the last one, they're, they're pretty poor. <laughs> Uh, food and waste. Uh, adding straw bedding to a cow pig or closures creates manure. So it does actually create manure by adding straw. So a separate manure heap needs to be placed. So we, yeah, we're probably pointless giving them straw. It does only produce manure. So yeah, we'll look at getting the the manure extension added as well. 
in the the new year. I'm just going to leave that in here so it's accessible for topping up the, sh the hay bales when we need to. So let's just disconnect this. And we'll get that sent back. So yeah, there's our first 28 cows here on Carmsden. So we are now up and running on the dairy side of things. So yeah, we'll probably skip through to February at the earliest, possibly March. Because we can't really do much else now until then. So February, you can only plant cotton, which we're not going to consider doing. Uh, so we could possibly come back in February just to do the ploughing and get the lime spread. So then when we do come to March, it's ready for the oats to be planted. And then we'll also look giving the canola another round of fertiliser and then fertilising the grass fields as well. So they're ready for fully fertilised for the first cuts in spring. Uh, we'll also see how much milk we've actually produced over that time and see if we've got enough to make it worth renting a milk tanker just to sell that to give us a bit of extra money. And so I do want to get the feed mixer which I've got. Um, we have downloaded the Keenan from 4D Modding. So there's a 22,800 litre capacity on this. And then possibly when we get the manure pit, if we do need to get a straw blow up, we'll look at this one. So yeah, a few things to buy. <laughs> we just need to earn the money to actually buy them. So for this episode though, we'll call it a day there. So if you have enjoyed the episode, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. We've got Farm Simulator 22, uh, Let's Play videos, I should say on this channel currently with the Carmsland series and also Transport Fever 2 currently running as well just for something a bit different so yeah I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one goodbye <laughs>